Welcome back. It's Home and Garden Show Week on PTL and not nearly what we're used to doing this time of year. In years past, normally we would have been coming to you live from the David L. Lawrence Convention Center with our cool set out there, showroom floors filled with vendors. It's always so much fun. It's always so much fun because we get to meet so many of you. Yes, that's, that's really true. what we love the most. Yeah. Uh, but with this year's show, Bump to This Fall, we are sharing some fun Home and Garden Show features on PTL right here on the program this week. And one of the trends that we love is a way to build your next home. As Mikey Hood shows us now, you can find these new houses right here in our area. Have you ever seen a house being brought into the city on the back of a truck? Well, more than likely, it's a modular home, and it's a trend that's picking up here in Pittsburgh. And there are three right here in Garfield, and I got a chance to take a tour. People hear the term modular and they might think of a mobile home or a manufactured home, and it's actually different than that. Modular construction is a way of building faster using modules, which are made in a factory just north of Pittsburgh and put together on site. They're building each floor as a box, essentially. So this was one box built in the factory, and then it's shipped on a big truck from you know Clarion, Pennsylvania, down to Pittsburgh, and then a crane installs that. We were literally stopping traffic while the crane picks it up in midair, you know, takes it you know 20 feet in the air, and then it comes and it sets it on the foundation. It's pretty interesting to see. Still, the topography in Pittsburgh, the skinny lots, and what's underground can be challenging to build on. They set these homes on what appeared to be grass-filled, vacant lots. But once you started digging, what you learned is that underneath that grass was an entire house. So when, when the city demolished some of these homes back in the day, they didn't haul the debris off, they just buried it in the basement. A lot of people assume, oh, well, if it's built in a factory, it must be cheaper, but in, that's not necessarily the case. One benefit to modular building, construction time can be reduced by 40 to 50 percent versus a traditional home. And since they are built in a factory, something like a weather delay is just not a factor. Also, there are a lot of sustainable features. We put really high quality windows and doors in, the, in each house. The windows are thick and very insulated, so heat doesn't escape. Also, we are on a busy and loud street. Whoa, it's completely silent. It's amazing. And the real selling point of a home is the kitchen. And this one, you see it as soon as you walk in the door. Yeah, a kitchen's like the, it's really the centerpiece of a house. And as we design our kitchens, we call them right-sized kitchens. In this right-sized kitchen, so full of natural light, you'll find high-quality appliances like low-flow fixtures that can help you spend less on your energy bill and Energy Star appliances. There is a lot of cabinet space, and people love and need their cabinet space in the kitchen. What does the average household need today? And that's what we're trying to think about as we, as we build these homes. I'm Mikey Hood for PTL. Really well, cool to see that process like in the warehouse. Well, I like the drone video of like with the crane lifting up like the yeah. second floor of the house and just plopping it down on there. It's neat to see how it comes together. Yeah, yeah and they're really cool homes too. Mikey tells us these homes, the ones she showed us, are part of a mixed income project. So there are four homes in that lot, three at market rate and one is affordable housing. Prices range from the 180s to 300,000, but larger, more expensive like luxury models could cost you in the 600 thousand dollar range. And Brian says the price of uh, their builds varies depending on several factors. They're really trying to make their housing an option for several types of buyers in the future and they hope to expand builds all across the city. It does seem, you know, when, when Mikey was talking about how skinny some of the lots are, it does make sense to have something like that. Yeah, and it would be a lot less fuss for the neighbors that live, your new future neighbors will thank you for building it that way rather than building it over six months on the lot. Yeah, a little yeah. pause in traffic is maybe worth it. Exactly. 